So today's video in Joshua 3, we're just taking a look at the Israelites and crossing the Jordan River. And we start off with Israel waiting three days at the edge of the Jordan River. And what a huge task that is. You know, this chapter also says that at this time, the river was in, uh, was flooded. And so they approach the river and it must feel so daunting, especially for Joshua, who's supposed to lead these people. But the really beautiful thing is that God will guide them. The priests were to carry the Ark of the Covenant and guide the entire camp. And so in verses 5 through 8, God encouraged Joshua as a leader. Not only did he encourage him, but he guide him and he gave him favor in the eyes of the people. And when, you know, we're up against something that's so challenging. I know there's been times in my life where I'm facing something and I will ask God, please, God, help me. And I would get that encouragement. And it just feels so good to get that boost of encouragement. It feels good for our faith. Um, and so that's exactly what God was doing. He encouraged him, he guided him, and he gave him favor in the eyes of the people. And the priests were to stand on the water's edge. So I thought that was interesting because, you know, they didn't walk up to the Jordan and then the water you know, opened up um, for dry ground. They had to actually step in it first. And oftentimes God will ask us or give us a huge task, right? And he'll put something on our hearts and we need to take the first step. We need to start and then wait, you know, we need to see, okay, what's next? So the priests had to put their feet in the water first. You know, imagine they said, no, God, that doesn't make any sense. Or God, can you just, you know, open the water? open the waters on dry ground first or whatever, they had to take that step of faith. And so that's really important as we, you know, journey through life with God. In verse 9 through 13, one man from each of the 12 tribes, they were to start leading the camp across dry land. And then in verses 14 through 17, exactly what God had said is exactly what happened. The priest stood in the middle of the dry ground, in the middle of the Jordan with the Ark of the Covenant while the people passed. And that just reminds me, too, that God will stand with us in the middle of whatever huge trial that we're going through. He's not off in the distance. He's not telling you to figure it out on your own. He will guide you one step at a time. And not only will he guide you, but he will be there with you right in the middle of it. You know, the priest didn't go ahead and then everyone crossed behind after with the Ark of the Covenant, with the Ark of the Covenant, the priests were there um, holding the Ark of the Covenant in the middle while the people passed over, while they were going through from one point to another, while they were going through that really huge obstacle. God was with them. And faith, you know, we build on faith as time goes on. I'm sure Joshua thought back to the Red Sea, right? And all the people, because remember, they heard the stories, even if they weren't there. Moses had told them all the stories. That's what we learned in Deuteronomy. So they heard what God had already done and had, how he had parted the Red Sea. So of course, you know, this river wouldn't be as daunting because they remember what God has done in the past. So that's why I think journaling is really helpful too, because I write down things that I feel like God is putting on my heart. I journal my dreams. I journal, you know, my Bible studies because it helps for me to go back and read, okay, God got me through this. And he can get me through this. You know, this is even, uh, this is kind of similar to something that he's gotten me through before. So yeah, our faith, I think we could just build on faith. And that's probably what, you know, Israel did at this time. That's what Joshua did. They held on to that faith, knowing that God had done it before and he will do it again. And also that gives them a little bit of confidence and faith to move forward to the battles that they are about to experience as well as they are going into that promise. So if you are facing a huge trial or a huge obstacle or whatever, whatever it is that you know that God has prompted you to move forward in, lean on him, pray to him. I promise you, he will show up for you. There have been times where I needed encouragement, but I also think to myself, I don't want to only seek God when I want encouragement or when I want something. I want to seek him to get to know him and to know his, to know his face and to just worship him and be around him in spirit. And he'll still encourage me in those times, you know, like, thank you, God. I didn't even ask for that, but <laughs> thank you so much because I sure needed it. So anyways, let me know what you learned. I always love reading your comments. I post a new Bible study video on Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 a.m. Eastern. And I can't wait to study the Bible with you again.